lost so many friends and neighbors to this virus, but one issue that has not received as much attention is the long-term effects for survivors. Kalat Malamed tonight takes a closer look at a condition that is now being found in people who thought their battle was over. 27-year-old David O'Brien was living a healthy lifestyle in New York City. He moved back to West Seneca in April after he contracted COVID-19. From about March until July, I had new symptoms popping up basically like weekly. He knew something was wrong after he started having panic attacks several times a day. Normal resting heart rate is probably around like 55 to 65, and I would wake up with a heart rate of like 120, 130. O'Brien was diagnosed with post-COVID-19 dysautonomia in August, the dysfunctioning of the autonomic nervous system. One of the common disorders is POTS. It's often caused by a viral infection like the flu, SARS, and now COVID-19. Every week I add more and more post-COVID dysautonomia patients. POTS reduces blood volume and can lead to abnormal heart rates, headaches, digestion problems, and severe fatigue. Most of the patients patients that I see are young people uh, who were healthy and who had mild COVID. Uh, some didn't even have a fever uh, and uh, they ended up with uh, post-COVID complications and lots of neurologic and cardiovascular symptoms. Blitzstein says if someone had COVID-19 months ago and still has trouble functioning, it's time to see a doctor, but that can be difficult. Dysautonomia is often misdiagnosed as anxiety. Nothing short of a nightmare to get this all kind of like stabilized and diagnosed. Blitzstein says POTS is chronic but can be manageable. It's such a mixed bag of symptoms, like every day is kind of different. Blitzstein says it's too soon to know the full long-term impact of post-COVID-19 POTS. In my case series, most patients improved with treatment and that's very reassuring. However, also in my case series, uh, most patients had some kind of lingering symptoms. O'Brien still has GI problems and uses beta blockers to help his heart rate. As far as like symptoms go for like um, the long haulers. Um, I'm optimistic about it. Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.